In this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you my top five free screen recording software. If you're trying to record tutorials or how to tutorials like I do on uh, this channel most of the time, you can use any of them and it's completely free of charge. In some cases, you may have to upgrade, but I try to bring the ones that you have, you can use quite a lot and it's um, going to be for free. So to start with, the first one on the list is apowersoft.com. You can get to apowersoft by just coming to your browser and just type in apowersoft.com and it's going to bring you over to this platform. You can click to just start recording your unlimited uh, videos. You can download the app and you have more features if you're interested. But then you can start recording even online by just clicking on record and you can accept. It has even the Chrome extension. If you want to add the extension, you can go ahead and add it and it makes life easier for you so you can easily record at any given time. So access becomes very easy. Now over here, you have to decide which of the devices you want to capture. You want to capture your screen, you select, I want to capture my screen. At this uh, drop down, you'll be able to see which camera you want to enable. So let's say I'm using my C922 and you can see, hello and welcome to my house. You can just go ahead. Once you select everything, you can start recording. And it's going to give you the option either to record the uh, the Chrome tab, if you want to record only the Chrome tab, or if you want to record the Windows, you can select which of these uh, windows you want to record. Or if you want to record entire screen, uh, you can just go ahead and select. So you want to share system audio as well, you can select from here. And you can select this and click on share, you start recording. Now take a look at the timer, the countdown timer. When it's done, it's you now start. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to show you the power of a PowerSoft, how to use it to record your screen. So let's say I'm recording my screen right now and I just want to take, touch one or two things and I'm done. So once you're done, you come over here and click on stop and you will be able to see your recording. So this is what you have recorded. So you can play to see a preview of it. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm just going to show you the power of a PowerSoft, how to and I think th this is very powerful. Then the next thing is it comes in with some basic editing features like at the sidebar over here, you can trim the video, you can add AI subtitle, you can do video to give, you can crop the video or extract the audio or change video speed accordingly. You can click on trim if you want to trim and it's going to take you to the trim video online. You can just go ahead and play around with the trimming. You can see it has just uh, uploaded the video. So you're free to now select the area from mostly from the edges. So to remove or to cut any section of it, you can just go to that particular location, just double click and you can see you've trimmed this. You can create, you create a cut and you remove part. So you can come over here also, double click to select and then remove the part. If you want to create any cut at any given point, you can select, select here also and remove any section that you want. Okay, so this is just the very basic editing. Once you are done, you can just go ahead and say start streaming and it's going to process what you have trimmed or what you have cut and joined and then it's going to give you the final version and i think you can hear it it's perfect and it's very fantastic so this is the first one the next on the list is loom so when you want to get to loom you can go, come to your browser and just type google and then from google you can just type loom loom also is available you can see it synchronize video messaging to for work and you can do it for tutorial as well. You can do your screen recording. So all you need is just to create an account and sign in, and then you'll be able to see the videos you've recorded earlier on. And to start recording videos, all you need is just to come over here and say new video. You can just click record a video and you can select to allow. Okay, so it's going to bring you over here. So this is where you're going to select your video settings, your recording settings. Um, are you going to include your camera settings? You can select the camera you want to use from here. For example, if you want to record screen and camera, screen only or camera only, you can select all those from here. In my own case, I want to record screen and camera, I can select, and then you can define what kind of camera you want to uh, record with. So I want to record with my C922 and the default webcam is I want to use the webcam. I want to use the mic of my uh, webcam so I can see. So you can see my, so you can see me down here. This because I've selected the camera that I want to use so you can see me clearly. And then I can select the mic. I want to use my C922. And all you need is to start recording. But if you want to go advanced, you can show advanced options from here. Also, you may be able to see a uh, recording counts down if you want to enable or disable uh, or the about. So these are some of the uh, very basic things you can change. And then you can start recording. 
for the trial version you have up to five minutes but i assure you it's something that's worth trying if you feel like you enjoy it then you can just go ahead and subscribe but then you let's try with the trial version and let's see start recording and over here also you can choose whether to record any of these tabs that you have within your screen or you can go ahead and record the windows entirely or you can record the entire screen which is what i want to do i can just select and click on share and you can see the timer the countdown timer i have this sound and you can see the timer remaining over here you can stop you can pause and you can delete your recording right now i'm recording the screen hello and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to record your screen with loom software but online so you can see i can press on stop to see my recording so you can see this is my recording this is me by the side and i can just i can just play to have a preview all right i have this sound and you can see the time you ready i think this is fantastic and you have other editing features basic editing features over here you can split at any given point you can select and it's going to bring you up to the editing tool platform where you can do the splitting so you can edit from the edges and edit from the edges up to here for example and then you can do the same from the other edge as well up to here and once you're done you can just go ahead and uh, click on save or you can revert to original or you can cancel the editing as a whole and if you want to create a split you can just go ahead just navigate to any point and you can create a split by just coming here and you have a split you've uh, now divided your clips into two uh, into two and then you can click over here if you want to add another split you can click to Add another split or if you want to add a clip you can add or if you want to delete a given clip you can delete also from here so right now i've splitted the clips into some some number of uh, clips and i want to delete this one you can select and delete i'm as, as, assuming i am done with the splitting and the trimming i can just come over, all the way here to the top and save once i click on save it's going to save the trimming and the editing that i've just done okay looking good so if you want, you can come down here and add uh, stitch to stitch videos. If you have created some some cuttings and you've deleted some sections, you can stitch the video from here. And you can all, also go ahead and check other video settings uh, like the background noise. You can enable to reduce, to remove background noise, uh, to do branded player or animator thumbnails. If you want to add all this, you can go ahead and explore. Now another thing another cool feature with this is that you can copy this you can copy the link and you can share it with someone someone that anybody that has this link can watch the video that you just created online and you can call, go ahead and click on share to be able to share it and you can just add email address of people to be able to share the videos with them or you can come over here and copy directly or you can import or you can share on these social media platforms linkedin twitter facebook and gmail or you can embed this on your website using the embedded code. You can just copy and go to your website and, and paste it. Now, the next on the list is Clipchamp. You can access Clipchamp by just call, coming to your browser and just type Clipchamp. Okay, Clipchamp. You can see it over here, Clipchamp. So you can just go ahead and log in. Okay, sign in. It's very easy to um, free to create an account. You can create an account, you can just log in. To your clipchamp account you can select to log in using these different methods i will log in with my google account now once you log in you can come over here and say create a video you can click to create start creating videos now what i want to do i want to record my screen so you can come over here record and create you click on this and you have the option to record screen and camera screen only or screen only camera only or both of them or you can do text to speech if you are interested for this tutorial i want to record screen and camera so i can select the first option over here so you have to allow and click on to allow access and then over here down here you can select which of the devices you want to record with so the first one is the microphone i'm going to use my c922 microphone and what camera do you want to record with can select over here and say I want to use my C922 camera and you can see me down here this is just preview so once you're done you're satisfied with what you have you can go ahead and click on record to start recording now you can choose from this you want to record tabs or you want to record windows or you want to record the entire screen in my own case I want to record the entire screen so I select the screen and select share system audio and I can go ahead and click on share and you can see right now I'm recording this screen so hello and welcome to my channel this is about 
how to how to record your screen with this clip champ so right now i'm recording my screen with clip champ and once i'm done i can just stop sharing and you can see right now i'm recording this screen so mm. so let's post it you can retake if you're interested if you don't want what we have you can retake the recording or you can see if and edit if you want to you can go ahead and see if and edit allow this and you can see you have the camera so this is your screen this is the canvas the main canvas over here you have your screen your timeline this is where you have the recordings you can record you can ungroup this and you can move across um you can split them and you can decide to move the recordings elsewhere or you can resize it or do some cropping you can select and do some cropping from here by selecting this you can crop to the edges so make sure you get the exact point that you are trying to use during your recording and once you're done you click on this to record now you have uh, streamed this section and you can go ahead and um, do your editings very basic editings like the cutting you can split at any given point and delete and you can duplicate any section okay these are some very basic things and from this video that you've selected you can add different kind of uh, filter, uh, filters also over here there are a number of filters that you can add on on this your your video that you've recorded and they are completely free of charge except for some very few that are paid but the good the free ones are, are quite popular and they're, they're very good so once you're done you're starting with the editings i'll link up a video tutorial where i teach a complete tutorial on how to use clip champ for your video editing for your uh, screen recording and how to generally create videos with it so once you're done with everything, you like what you see, you've added some text. If you want to add some text and captions and citations and effects, and maybe you've done some splitting and adjustment of colors and so on, you can just come over here to export and you can export in any of these formats up to 1080p, which is uh, which are completely free. So for this, let's say we go with 420. So you can just go ahead and you can see the exporting process is pretty fast. You can just export, you can rename your video over here. Can just give your video a name and just give you some seconds to stop to finish the exporting and you can see you can share them on on this google drive you can upload on youtube to send to tiktok directly or share on linkedin uh, or linkedin you can do all that from here completely for free of charge now the next on the list is obs and obs i find it to be exceptionally useful and very free to use also to share and reshare with your friends to have access to OBS, all you need is just to come to your browser, just type in OBS Open Broadcaster Software. You can see it can download for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I've just downloaded mine for Windows. I've installed, so all you need, come to your uh, Windows and just search for OBS. You can see it over here. You just click. Once your OBS platform is opened, I've made a complete video also on how to use OBS. So let's say you come to this plus sign, you can create a new scene. So let's say we call this screen recording. So after renaming it to recording, we can just come all the way to the sources, click on the plus sign, and then we want to do video capture. So select video capture and keep it as video capture. And then we can select the device, we call it C922. So hello, welcome to my house again. And then you can go ahead and say okay to this, and you can record this, your, this is your camera, and this is your webcam. And next we want to record is my screen. So we can minimize this and keep it by the side or we can bring it to this side. And I want to record my screen. So we come to add again and then we can do display capture. We we'll keep it at display capture and then we can go ahead and say OK. I will right click, come to transform and come to sheet, sheet to screen. And you can see everything is now fit to screen. Uh, right now i can bring my camera at the top okay so you can bring it to the top you can move this to the top so you can see me by the side over here now to start recording um you have to select your microphone and you can do that by coming to settings over here you can come to audio settings over here and you can come to uh, auxiliary setting mic auxiliary settings you can just come select this and you can select the c922 mic that i want to use and then everything two three you can just um, two three four you can just dis forget about those so once you set this you can uh, close on this you can come over and see apply and okay all right so once you're done um setting up everything you can just come all the way here 
and click on start recording or if you want to capture your audio also you can come to audition if you want to capture audio you can come to the plus sign and come all the way to audio you can say audio output device audio input device so the microphone you can say audio input device you can say okay to this you can define your microphone or you, whatever device you want to record with and you can see we've just captured that so you can come all the way here and say start recording i need to start recording right now you're recording your screen hello and welcome to my channel in today's video i want to show you how to use obs studio to record your screen of course i want to record my screen directly from here directly so once i'm done recording um, I want to stop, I can come over here, I can pause and I can stop recording directly. So once you stop recording, you can come over here, show recordings, and you'll be able to see what you've recorded today. The seventh, and you can see it over here. So let's double click, double, double click to just check it. I think this is perfect, so you can just go ahead and go ahead and do some very basic editings with it. And that's for OBS, very simple to use. Equally, I will attach a complete video on how to use OBS to record and to even do live streaming with it in this same video. So you find it in the description or at the top here. Now, the last one on my list is ShareX. So to get to ShareX, you just come to your browser and just type in ShareX and hit on enter. And you can see the best free and open source screenshot tool. Okay, so you click. So to be brought into this very platform, you can go ahead and click to download it. It's very easy to download and install, and it's completely free of charge, free to use and share and reshare with your friends. You can see the tremendous benefits that it's going to have, screen capture and other features that you may need. But for this tutorial, we are going to just concentrate on using it to record our screen. So after you download and install, you can just come to your start menu over here. You can see it, share X. Just click to open. Now, once you open your ShareX, you'll be welcome to this very platform where you have the hotkeys and their description. If you if you like, you can change the hotkeys and how you want to record or capture your screen faster. So you can come to the hotkey settings and you can change accordingly. But for this tutorial, you can just come to task settings and here you define the screen recorder option. You can come to screen recorder and you can set everything to Leave everything here at default because you are recording at 30 frame rate per second. And then you can come to screen recording over here, the options. You can choose the video option uh, that you want to video source where, which camera do you want to use? You can see it from here. And then you can choose the audio options as well. Um, which source do you want to use to capture audio? Let's say I'm using my microphone, internal microphone. And then over here you have the bunch of video codecs that you can select from but i leave everything at default h.264 and the uh, audio codec as well i leave it at default aac which is the default one now once i'm done with these settings i can just come over say click on ok and then close on this as well and then you can come back to capture and you can come all the way to screen recording over here once you click you now have to define the area you want to record now i want to capture just this location um, I don't want to capture everything. The default is everything. And once you release, now you are recording your screen. So you can see the timer over here. You are recording your screen. You can abort, you can pause, and you can stop at any given point. Hello, guys, and welcome to my channel. This tutorial is about learning ShareX and its benefit. So now let's stop, and you can see our recording over here, the one we just recorded. So just go ahead and give it a try and explore the other features that you may want to use on this very ShareX. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a bit about my top five screen capture devices that you can use to record your screen and even record your camera or webcam together. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.